What's the impact that this shortage is having on Hawaii's health care? Paul. Well, Hawaii has seen a drastic drop in nurses, nearly 5,000 during the pandemic, according to the state. And while they are important, they're just some of the health care workers now in short supply. Many in the healthcare industry love what they do and have a passion for nursing, including North Hawaii Community Hospital RN, Heather Yost. My mom was a nurse. Um, I just, I never imagined doing anything else. In her 10 years in Hawaii, she's seen how the nursing shortage has taken its toll on those still on the job. It's exhausting. We work 12 hour shifts, right? So that's a long day. <laughs> and then you're picking up at least you know, one or two more shifts a week. It's, it, it's it, people can't sustain that forever. So what is causing Hawaii's nursing shortage? Recruiting people to come work here in a challenging environment um, is probably the biggest challenge. And then, to, and then to, to get them to stay. More pay might encourage more nurses to come to Hawaii and keep more of the ones already here. As more nurses leave, it adds even more stress on those who remain. More support staff could also relieve some of the stress nurses face. We had two unit secretaries, CRNAs, who would help do all kinds of things, you know, create charts and do paperwork and do the hearing tests on babies and all the miles of paperwork that goes with that uh, that you have to send to the state. If you don't have that ancillary staff, who's doing it? There's a strong need for um, healthcare professionals, uh, CMAs, um, pharmacy technicians, uh, billers and coders, but the, the biggest need is for medical assistance. This is to be a part of patients or baby's record. At Hawaii Medical College, these students train to be certified medical assistants. Like Heather, some students have family in the healthcare industry who inspired them to help others. My mother is a certified medical assistant, my older sister, and a lot of the important women in my family are medical assistants. And I've always loved just helping people and being there. And especially in a community like this, I want to give back. I have a family member that's actually in the medical field. I got to volunteer with her. So she, in doing that, it actually had me find a new passion in my life. They hope to be some of HMC's annual graduates. But Ashton said the school doesn't even come close to filling the needs of Hawaii hospitals, which used to take in three to 500 medical assistant graduates every year. Previously, there were quite a few schools in the state that offered medical assisting programs. Um, and now we are the, as far as I'm aware of, um, we're the only accredited um, school offering uh, medical assisting. Um, and we produce uh, close to maybe 200 um, graduates a year. Ashton said the pandemic scared off some students from entering the healthcare field, but he has stated started to see enrollment pick back up and hopes to expand training for neighbor island students in the future. Reporting from the newsroom, Paul Drews, KITV4 Island News.